So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this segment. And in today's episode, we are going to design or we are going to create this beautiful text effect that is a stroke within a stroke. Yes, a stroke and then another stroke covering the whole entire design. Yes, this is what we are going to create. And please, if this seems to be interesting to you, kindly stick around. Let's walk through the tutorials step by step. This is a part of the Photoshop quick tips and tricks in which we embark on for some time now. And this is also known as a typography or type, um, type text effect. Yes, people call it typography or typing text effects and anyway runs you are good to go so without wasting much time control and to open a new document that is if you want to go by the standard shortcut formless or otherwise you can go to file then go to um sorry new and then this is this then click on it to open a new document and in this condition we are using the photoshop default standard yes we are using photoshop default and then the width is seven inches height is five inches resolution is 300 color mode and um, color mode rgb background color white but i prefer we should go and change the background color so this is the hash code um, 4b3727 again 4b3727 if i like i can push it to this side and now i get a new hex code which is 4d2200 4d2200 so i click on ok like this then this is now and then i'll click on create and then i have my nice background like this and then the first thing we are going to do is to head on to the type 2 go to this side type 2 or if it's not coming then click on t on the keyboard that is if you are using a windows yes if you are using a windows if you are using mac operating system yours is quite different i'm not familiar with those things so please kindly forgive me that's why i said head on to this side and click on t on the text tool now pick a horizontal type to hit it this way and then press any part of the screen now you have this test effect then press enter now press ctrl t on the keyboard and then hold the alt and then stretch it this way but better still you can come to this um, um a characters if your character is not showing go to windows and then come to characters and then automatically it will, it will show here sorry it will show here then once it's open up then let's increase here to let's say 50 or good now we'll open it to 50 and then let's right double click inside and then write the test sticker okay so write sticker and then press enter meaning the text effect or the space or sorry the size is too small ctrl t on the keyboard and hold the edges here scale it up nicely like this yes let me scale it up again and then press enter if it's okay then let me go to the character again close this side to somewhere to be um i think 40 is awesome and then let's increase the text to maybe 150 good now it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome i think we will go by this and then now once this is set we can even put this one in a group ctrl j sorry ctrl j yes and then double click and then type the name which is the background all right so everything beneath this side everything beneath the text becomes the background and then this now go to fx beneath here go to the fx and then go to um, um stroke good go to stroke and then this is the first stroke the first stroke we gave is this now let's see the hex code the hex code is for uh, sorry 6d 4c 2f that is it and then click on ok like this and then set the size to 25 and then um, position to outside blending mode to normal opacity 100 and this is okay good now once that is done sorry i'll double click that side again i will not click okay then i'll just add then another stroke i'll click here to add another stroke and then this becomes it and then with that side you go and pick the size to be what 60 pick stroke outside and then pick a blending option normal is okay and then opacity to be 100 and then color change here to color and then pick any color of your choice you can even pick maybe either color 
color from this side and okay that will not be much and i think white is okay white is okay white is okay white is okay just because of the background color yes so because of the background color and then yours you can change here if here is gradient then it means you have to change it and then you can even set a gradient to it if that is if you want a gradient let's go and then let's see i have some of the gradients over here so we pick any gradient color of your choice and they just as simple as that as simple as that and if you don't like the gradient as well you can even come back to pattern and then pick a pattern for it and if you want a color to then pick a color to it like this and guys this is awesome so you click on okay now you can increase the size from here you can increase the size from here reduce the size using the size all right reducing the size so let's maintain it to 65 and if everything is okay you click on okay like this and guys this becomes the text effect so click ctrl j to put this one also in a group and then call it text good nicely like this ctrl t and then you can tilt it this way nicely like this and guys this is how we are able to create a beautiful text effect like this with a stroke and another stroke so this is the first stroke that is the white one that is the first stroke so if you open it you realize that we have two stroke the first one which is the other color and then this also the this color you see it you see it good so a text with double stroke this is how we are able to cut and then don't forget that you can even come back to any time to come and edit the words so let me change here to maybe good and that is it you have another text like this nicely like this and then you just type your name or double click it again and then type welcome good and then just position it just center it like this and position it Control t to resize it nicely like this and then Control a to center and align guys all the shortcut that i'm saying that is if you are using a windows operation system if you are using a window operation system if you are using a mac yours is quite different from mine that is why i said and um, i'm not familiar with the um, mac operation system or other operation system apart from windows yes that is basically what i've been using for a long time and that is what i'm conversant with so please this is how to go about in such a simple tutorial very quick tips and tricks in photoshop and if if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around for more subscribe like share press on the not notification bell icon so that whenever i post any video you'll be the first person to get it and to practice it. i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now